Ryan, thanks. Election reform bills took center stage at Georgia's crossover day at the state capitol. That's the day where, after which no new legislation can be submitted. They had hundreds of bills to look at, and now there are two left. Atlanta Bureau Chief Archit Sashadri explains the two most important election bills making their way through the Capitol. It's a tale of two bills. Senate Bill 241 would eliminate no excuse absentee voting and only allow those who are 65 years and older, have a physical disability, or are absent from the precinct to vote absentee. In Georgia, since 2005, We've been in no excuse absentee, so anybody, anywhere, anytime can request an absentee ballot to vote. They don't have to have an excuse like a doctor's excuse or an out of the precinct thing. State lawmakers passed House Bill 531, which limits weekend voting, restricts the use of drop boxes, and reduces the time to request an absentee ballot. So what you see is you see a bunch of bills that are being filed by Republicans purportedly to um, build that trust back. But the problem is that they are trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist? Well, for the last few years, Georgia has been one of the easiest places to register, easiest places to vote, and very difficult to cheat. Both bills also want proof of ID, like a license or state-issued ID copy. Their voters, their constituents, don't trust absentee voting, and they don't trust um, the machines, the Dominion um, in-person um, voting machines. And so what do you do? State Democrats say these changes would hurt black voters and called it voter suppression, while state Republicans say these bills will restore trust in the election process and voter fraud and reduce the workload on election workers. Was there widespread issues? No. But can we always work to make the system better, both from an election administration standpoint and for voters? Yes. Uh, the harder that we make voting across the board, the harder it is for everybody to vote. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.